What we're looking at in section 4.2 is logarithmic functions. We're going to learn how to change from a logarithmic to an exponential function, change from exponential to logarithmic, evaluate logarithms, use basic logarithmic properties, graph logarithmic functions, find the domain of logarithmic function, use common logarithms and also natural logarithms. So first of all we're going to talk about just a little bit of an introduction. What you need to know is that exponential functions and logarithms are inverses. And we're going to use this because uh, it does help us a lot when we're talking about the functions and how they're related to each other. It's going to help us when we're trying to graph. It's going to provide many different answers. So let's just look at an example of a, a logarithm that we know. Say we take some number. Uh, say you take 2. If you multiply by 5 and you divide by 5, as you can see, what you'll actually end up with is the exact same thing. So when you perform uh, inverse functions, they're actually going to cancel. So keep that in mind as we're dealing with logarithms. So we'll look at just a basic example and say we have the log base b of b to the third power. So if you notice, we have basically two components. We have a log base b and we have an exponential function with a base of b. Anytime your bases are the same, they're going to cancel each other out. So our answer for a problem like this would be 3. Now that's starting with a logarithm, but you could also write it in a little bit of a different form. So what we'll have is we'll have, say, uh, b to the log base b of 2 power. So again, what you should be able to see is that here is your logarithm with a base of b, and then here is the exponential function part. So since they both have the same base, the base of b here and here, here and here, they're going to end up canceling each other out. Just like you would up in this example, where 5 times 2 divided by 5 will just give you 2. So the answer to this will just be equal to 2. So just some basics about logarithms and how they are inverse functions, and that's going to allow us to perform operations to be able to cancel each other out. So when we start solving logarithmic and exponential equations, if you know that they're inverse functions, it should uh, make your job a little bit easier.